let me say this. I don't see myself better than anyone. I really don't. I am just an average person, if that. <laughs> so, when I tell you you should do particular things, I am not trying to make you feel bad. I am not trying to show you, per se, how much of a sinner you are. I am just trying to help. You know, you can pretty much call me Uncle Kev. <laughs> you know, I am not here to put you down or anything like that. In fact, In the past, I was really a bad person. To be teaching people about God and serving God from the way that I used to be is a very shocking thing because I never thought that I would ever change. I'm serious. I would, <laughs> to even think that I could get to this point and still elevate, I never thought that it was ever, ever, ever possible. I'm telling you, I am telling you. So when I am telling you what you should do based upon the Bible. I am not trying to hurt you. I am not trying to beat you up. I don't have time for that. I am here to help. I am here to show love. I really am. I want to talk about prideful people, prideful people. Let me say this. I believe we all have gone through some really traumatizing times. I believe that we all have gone through problems. But some of us can take problems better than other people. Some people react differently toward issues that they go through. Let me say this. When you are not willing to forgive your enemies, if you are not willing to move on, if you are not willing to do what the Bible tells us to do, I am telling you, you are going to build psychological issues. And you can have more than one. I have spoke to people with depression. I have spoke to people who seemed bipolar. And other psychological issues. One thing I have seen in common. They are not willing to let go of the past. I am telling you. I am telling you, I am telling you, they are not willing to let go of the past. They keep replaying the past over and over and over and over again. 
they are not willing to let it go. So let me talk about prideful people. With them, it is the same thing. I believe they have been hurt and when they get hurt, now let me say this, no one likes to get hurt. Myself, I dislike getting hurt. But I know that getting hurt is part of life. But with some people, when they get hurt, they hate it so much that they project this false image of themselves. Trying to make people believe that they are this confident and this strong in this uh, whatever type of person. But they overdo it. They overdo it. And they come off as arrogant, conceited, and stuff like that. But deep inside, they are very soft and weak. Chances are they cry a lot and stay depressed. But to fool you, they project this false image of themselves because they believe that if they show you that, that they won't be able to get hurt or anything like that. But in truth, when they act like that, that is hurting them more. Prideful people. When you don't handle your issues in the right way, when you don't forgive people, <laughs> you are going to hurt yourself a lot more than what should happen. Moving on, forgiven, is a lot easier than to do all of that other stuff that I have explained. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 16, verse 5. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. So what is abomination? Let's look it up. Give me a second. Okay, a thing that causes disgust or hatred. Okay, everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. So the Lord hates pride. I believe that God loves people, but he hates the sin. I know I had this person comment to me and I believe it was a woman. And this woman was pretty much saying that, you know, she tries to do right, but she continues to fall into sin. And she was like, well, somewhere around the guidelines of she don't think God likes her or I believe she believes that God hates her or something like that. That is not true. God hates sin, not so much the person. Okay.
because God wants you. Now, if God hated you, like I said, I don't believe God hates the person, but he hates it when you sin. So he hates the sin. Okay. Through hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. So this is saying when you are prideful, you are going to be punished. There is no way that you are not going to be punished when you are prideful. So your choice in being prideful, you have to know that goes along with God punishing you. There is no way to get out of that unless you repent and change from your ways. I pray that this makes sense. I am telling you, pride is huge. And the best way to get rid of pride is to forgive your enemies. So look back on your past and see what people have done to you. You have to forgive them and move on. You can't keep holding on to past pain because all that is going to do for you is bring worse things for you in life. I pray that this makes sense. Okay, God bless.